Well, Buen Camino there, pilgrims. I'm Jeremiah Gibbs. I'm your Camino guide today. I've got a special episode. I want to attack the most uh, feared beast on the entire Camino over and over again. I hear Camino uh, pilgrims and prospective pilgrims talking about their fear of bed bugs. Today, I'm going to tell you how to prevent bed bugs and how to make sure that even if you were to end up in a place that has bed bugs, you're not going to have to do a lot of time treating those bed bugs, which can be a, a, a big time waster and a big bummer uh, when you're on your Camino. So take, stay tuned and I will give you some of the details on how to take care of that. So first of all, let me just say that I have uh, experienced bed bugs um, very intermittently on Camino. I'm usually on Camino in May. Um, on the last several pilgrimages that I've led, I've had one or two pilgrims that would get bed bugs one or two different nights. Um, it's not completely prevalent, but it's certainly common enough that I think taking some steps to prevent them is, uh, is worth your time and probably the most important best thing that you can do. There's lots of solutions people out there will say to use lavender oil and all these other uh, solutions. Probably the best solution if you're not afraid of being close to pesticides is uh, this uh, insect repellent known as permethrin. I'll put a link in the description for this. Permethrin is, a, is not something you spray on your skin. In fact, you're not supposed to. You spray this on materials, on cloth. You let it dry and after it's dried, uh, it will protect for up to six washes and six weeks of protection. So real quick, I'm just going to show you what I do to treat my gear. This is nothing, uh, there's no sort of um, magic to this. All I do is I put out all of the items that I want to be able to protect myself from insects and just to say um, this does protect you from mosquitoes and ticks as well so I'm gonna be spraying it on my clothing so I can have some insect protection I don't like using bug spray when I'm on Camino um, so this will have some bug protection on my socks on my clothing and it will last up to six washes which uh, on Camino probably means I'm gonna make it about half of the way through the pilgrimage uh, without any kind of concerns um, for mosquitoes and bugs when I'm sitting out uh, at a bar or walking uh, during the day um, this will repel most of those flying insects but then more importantly um, treating my sleeping bag in this case I use a down blanket rather than a sleeping bag um, which you'll see me treating um, that treating that down blanket means that the bed bugs will stay off of me at night it repels the bed bugs and maybe even a more valuable thing about using the permethrin is that after the uh, you have a uh, bed bug infestation. Let's say that you're at a uh, alberga and there's bed bugs in the alberga and you know it, you've seen them uh, overnight or something. The best thing you really should be doing is to treat all of your gear um, by putting it in a clothes dryer, which is going to breathe, I, I believe it has to reach about 160 degrees to be able to kill bed bugs. So the best thing to do is to treat it in a clothes dryer. But that's going to take like hours out of your day to be able to wash and treat all of your gear. Some of your gear isn't even uh, really good to be putting in the dryer. So one of the things that's great about permethrin is because it is also an insecticide, um, your gear that you put back in your pack is actually going to be uh, treated with permethrin and it's going to be killing the bed bugs that might be in your pack. So if there are any bed bugs that would get in your pack overnight, you're going to put your treated permethrin gear in that pack and then by the end of the day, it only takes about 15 or 20 minutes actually uh, for those uh, insects to die within the, within the um, smell of that permethrin. So it actually is going to protect you um, not only from preventing bed bugs but then also preventing from being a carrier. Um, you'll see, I'm just going to spray um, a light coating on all of my clothing. And uh, in my case, I actually just put the sleeping bag down underneath everything. And the reason I do that is that means it's kind of getting a little bit of the treatment um, all the way through from everybody's, uh, or from all of the different things that I'm treating. The overspray is just getting right on the sleeping bag as well um, and helping to treat that sleeping bag. And one of the things that you'll notice that I'm doing too um, is I'm going to treat all of my clothing uh, pretty much in one shot. You'll notice that I'm doing this outside. Um, this spray is not good um, to be inhaled. It is particularly dangerous for cats, 
whenever it's wet so you want to make sure that you keep it away from your animals and especially your cats while it's wet it's supposed to be safe for everyone once it's dry but when it's wet you want to make sure you keep it away from your animals um, I do it outside so that I don't breathe any of this in or don't breathe any more than I have to in as I'm spraying it Sometimes folks wonder uh, what socks or what shoes and other gear I wear. You'll notice that mostly what I have is darn tough hiking socks. I do have a few, uh, a couple, uh, one pair of these right socks um, that have the liner inside of them. Um, I don't know that I, I like them. I've, I've actually just gotten those and I'll be using those on this Camino. Testing those out on this Camino. Now, I don't know how everybody does this. Let me just say, I do not put any of this on my pillow um, because I would rather not, on the pillowcase that I take, I would rather not be breathing this insecticide um, that close to my face. I also do not put any of it on my underwear just because it's close to my skin and so on. Um, obviously, that's more sensitive skin um, than the, the places that my shirt and my pants will touch. So um, that's my preference. You may choose to do that differently, but I figure if, if, if it's on most of my clothing that I'm getting most of the effect um, from the bug prevention. There's not much more to it than that. I'm going to flip that sleeping bag over. I am going to spray the other side as well. Um, I've got my pants here. I'm going to do the same with those, um, the same process that you just saw. And I'm going to make sure that all of that equipment dries out uh, before I put it away. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to do to be able to treat uh, your gear with permethrin. Permethrin is an insecticide. It will make sure that you not only prevent bed bugs, but also uh, that you kill them so that you're not a carrier of them as well. Uh, highly recommend recommend if you are not afraid to, to be that close to insecticides. I know some folks are afraid of the chemical solutions. Um, I found it to be a very effective solution and, uh, and I hope that, uh, that you'll find that helpful. If you find videos like this helpful, I hope that you will subscribe to this channel, click the like button, share it out with other people. Uh, we want to make sure that we take care of our bed bug problem on Camino de Santiago so that we have the best pilgrimage we can playing Camino Pilgrims.